future, the children. For the children. Our generation, next generation, every generation. This is the next evolution of man, woman, child, information. Coming from no other than the real people. The ones that matter. The ones that always will matter. The ones that make the decisions, the ones that make the choices, the ones that teach, the ones that learn. It's us. And this is what it takes. Driving in torrential rain, passing cops. This is what it is. This is the, uh, uh, this is actually the old one from earlier 2012, the, the original GMO rat finding the study. So that I thought they'll be able to uh, play with that as well. And I made the copies of the fluoride tested from a preschool over by me. Feel me? The levels. And I'm also in this, this is my, this is the, my own fluoride that in my house, I actually tested that too. So I highlighted it so they could be able to see it. And then this goes to the MCLs of the fluoride. 2.0 and this obviously shows like 0.66 whatever so it's obviously like a disturbing amount we're good here right tell you what their job is. Welcome and thank you for coming. I am an activist in health and wellness. That's what we're creating, is to make sure that everybody's healthy and whatever it is that you really want to do in life, that you get to continue doing that for years and years and years to come. Uh, you're probably wondering, one question is, what the heck is Monsanto? Like, what is it that you're doing? What's this whole activism thing? So that one, I'll lead it over to write him on that. To me, Steve. I'm Steve, Steve Grant. And I'm an activist as well, obviously. I'm also a music artist. And I actually combine music with activism and create an amazing, powerful message. And one of the most important things that needs to be done is get you guys informed. Is any one of you familiar with Monsanto? No. And that's kind of the whole point of why we're here, is to get you informed. Is anyone familiar with GMOs? Genetically modified organisms? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. I teach science. <laughs> take a, take a What's going on here is that our health is being affected without us knowing it. And regardless of what you guys eat and what you think, the symptoms that you have now, whatever it is, uh, if you're tired a lot, uh, whatever, if you're getting spontaneous headaches, or you're losing a lot of hair, your lower back pain, your joints are hurting, uh, stomach aches, you're going to the bathroom having problems. This is all due and directly linked to two things. The depletion of minerals and vitamins that are not in the foods you are eating. And there has been chemicals and poisons into the foods. This is what the GMOs are. Genetically modified organisms. As you look at the chart that I passed around, you will see what they do. They have inserted a pesticide in the actual gene of the seed. So genetically modified organisms, you're dealing with genetics. 
So everyone's genetics is yes, DNA, blood. So what happens is that, just take the plants and just make sure everyone gets a chance to see it. So what happens is that when you eat the seed that they, all right, they insert into <coughs> the seed, the pesticide, okay? The pesticide is then now in this food. So now when they plant it in the ground, this corn, it's a horrible corn, but you guys get it. This corn is going to grow with pesticide inside of the corn, okay? Because it's on a genetic level. So, if you eat this corn, this goes inside you, genetically now, guess what? You produce pesticides. What is your stomach and body going to do when there's pesticides in your body? You don't know. I know. It's not going to like it. You're going to have problems. You're going to have organ failure. If you're looking at that packet, you will also notice that there is rats that have been studied on, worked on, and you could actually see, this is some of the results of the rats that have been fed the same exact foods that you guys have been eating. And it's in these vending machines and it's in these drinks. And you know what? It's messed up because you guys are trying to go about your lives and play. Play video games and hang out with your friends and do what you do. And why, why, why are we having health problems? Well, this is, this is why. And if you guys can pass this around too if you'd like. That's actually the Food and Chemical Toxicology Report. Uh, the actual Roundup. You, know, you guys familiar with Roundup? The pesticide spray Roundup? Yeah? Okay. That is the GMO. That's in the seed. So Monsanto is the producers of this genetically modified seed. And they're doing whatever they can to make sure that you guys don't know that it's in the foods. Now, I'm not here to terrify you about this because there, there is a good end result. What do you do? Well, first of all, definitely have to be informed. You definitely need to get to your parents and inform them with this information. And then you need to start moving into eating organic foods. Okay? Has everyone heard about organic foods? I'm sure, I hope so. And you tell me from a distance, what's the difference between these apples? One small. One small, that's one difference. What else? It's lighter. Lighter, okay, what else? Any other? Right, it's only two couple things. Really not much, right? What's up? Brighter, right? The glossier, right? Almost like there's something coated around it, right? It's weird. If you notice, this is two Granny Smith's apples. One is conventional, which has been drowned and just drowned and soaked with pesticide. And the other is organically grown, grown with the vitamins and minerals that are right, supposed to be right in the soils that you need. Because what's happening is that they have a conventional one. When they grow this, for, for, an app, for a real apple to grow and have its full nutritional value, it needs about 17 minerals in the soil, which is, you probably not familiar with, magnesium, calcium, zinc, whatever, okay? They're all in the soil, they need to be in the soil, so you eat this, so this is a real apple. What's happening is that they're only using phosphorus, nitrate, and potassium. That's only three elements. And what that does is that makes these things grow very, very fast. So they can get it sold out there quicker, and they can make their money, profit, profit, profit. They're really not too concerned about your health. They're really not. Okay, that sticker on that fruit is going to help you decipher how to know where the poisons are, where the poisons are not. You want to look for, make sure that that sticker has a 9 on it. You'll be buying organic. Okay, if you see a, an 8 on it, that thing is genetically modified. GMO is genetically modified organisms, all right? These things are made in labs, guys. It's made in the lab, and then put into your Doritos and vending machines and the food in the cafeteria food, and then you guys eat it. See the four? That's what I just said, conventional. It's not genetically made in the lab, but it's depleted out of vitamins and minerals. So you may think that it just looks like an apple, physically, looks like an apple. You want to bite into it, you think it tastes like an apple. Those are empty calories. There's no nutrients in there. There's no vitamins, no minerals. And that falls right back into what he was saying. So the more you become conformed, the more you have new knowledge acquired, you can do more things. And I'll tell you what, that's the GMOs. Now you have aspartame, okay, which is a chemical that is used in probably all the foods that you like. I know, because I used to love them too. Coke, Coca-Cola, Red Bulls, all of them, whatever. Aspartame is actually the fecal matter of the E. coli bacteria. Okay? After that, that fecal matter, after that bacteria has been fed 
genetically engineered soy. Okay? It's been fed that and then the, the, the bacteria defecates the aspartame. The aspartame is similar to an excitotoxin, kind of like an MSG. Most of the symptoms we have, we think we're just born with them and we're destined to have them, and we're not. It's from the foods. It directly is from the foods. When you get the vitamins and minerals in you, your body, just, and it's completely back to normal. We're done. Okay. Okay. What's up? No. Go. Uh, like, organic food makes you Absolutely. Because you're actually getting the vitamins and minerals. And don't think that, like, all the foods that you love, you have to give up. You can find them in the organic world. Don't forget. We were already eating organic foods. Around the early, early 1990s, they started doing this. Okay. This is, this is, well, yeah, you're about to know. That is the company that produces GMOs. Do you know what GMOs are? No. Oh, of course you know, which is why we're here. GMOs stands for Genetically Modified Organisms. Promote fluoride in the water. Um, it's, a med it's a medicine. Trust. Oh! 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 Technically, it should be zero contamination. I mean, the fluoride that we do need in our body is such a little amount, and we, we, can, we get that from our natural foods. This is an over, it's like fluoride toxicity. So now, when you look right here, here's GMO. Ritz crackers, Lay's, Doritos, Fritos, Wheat Thins, Tostitos, Cheetos, all your favorites. And then the other side shows you non-GMO snacks and other companies that you guys should start getting from, more familiar with. You can be a dedicated liar for all you know. <laughs> But he's not, by the way. Right. <laughs> he's not. But the thing is, but right. So the thing is, is that this is this is what's going on. It's, it's, it's within you. We're standing for a world that really works for us and health and wellness. Eventually grown, drowned in pesticides. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even eat this because it's been. Great. Yeah. 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 That's, that's why. That's why. Yeah. 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 Yeah.